What up, family? Get a news reporter, Mary Dash 20 Mary the Lee. Today is Thursday, Thursday in my city, Chicago, December the 9th, 2021, so they say. Now, they say game is to be sold and not told. Now, I bought this here magazine because they say books, movies are corrupt, suicide is way up. They also say a gift is from God and surprise will kill you. Now, I came from behind reading the magazine because I figure, you know, everything's a, uh, well, I tell you, you can't be nice. You can't be nice either. You can't be nice. Let me put my glasses on. Boy, they was really trying to kill me in 2016. Um... Now, I know Whitney Houston probably didn't die. I know that. I know she probably moved on because the evidence, the evidence proved it. You understand what I'm saying? In my city, Chicago, on 75th and Stony Island, it's a gas station. And I seen a sticker. It was an old sticker, and I did a video a long time ago. It said tax-free. Now, I didn't know what was going on because, you know, the game was being played around me and things of that nature or whatever and stuff. But I looked down, you know, on the, on the ground and they had like a little, uh, I don't know, like a little, like a, not a switch, but something looked like you can open stuff up and drop money in. You know, these people was doing the most and stuff, real talk. You know, they was doing real, doing the most and stuff. So when people get all that money and stuff, you know, eventually they get tired and, you know. And they play it all the way out and stuff or whatever and stuff. But when it comes to me, I'm definitely, you know, going through the most and probably going to die for real. You understand what I'm saying? You know, everybody else get to go on and live their best life. And, you know, they come close to dying. But because I'm the one for real, you know, originated a rap ever since the age of eight, 1975. And I stayed not too far from the gas station on um, 75th and Stony Island. You know, where I saw the tax free, you know, but they want to tax me and stuff, you know. Uh, I ain't going by myself. Let's put it like this. This book almost cost me, you know, it was, you know, you know, about thirteen dollars. You understand what I'm saying? Now, here go the tricky part. Right here. You see, if you could read it, number 17. Now they say game is to be sold and not told. I could have did this at the um Walgreens on College Grove. But, you know, I went ahead and bought the magazine because I knew once I put my voice in 1995 to the um, song Whitney Houston did One Moment in Time and um, the Shoop Shoop song or whatever and stuff, you know, for every win, someone must fall, they say. Hey, I came down to catch the rest who thought, you know, I couldn't catch them. Now, number 17 says, this is like a, um, the ultimate Whitney, you know, Houston quiz. How much you know about Whitney Houston and stuff. Now, the one thing I didn't know at the time in 1995 when I put my voice to two of her songs, you know, and gave it to Oprah Winfrey. And, you know, it didn't surprise me that, you know, she ended up on, you know, the Oprah Winfrey show talking about Bobby Brown, you know, did her wrong or whatever and stuff, you know, long story short, you know, girls got good game, but you know, I'm a girl too, which means, you know, I got to put all together and stuff. Okay. So regardless, she loved him enough to stick it out, drink drug and smoke with him or whatever and stuff, you know, and she tapped him. You understand? And just like LaWanda came to me, stalking me for six months. See, they know who to go to. See, you know, they know the money when they see it or whatever. And she probably wanted to elevate her, uh, you know, her game, Whitney Houston. Back in the day, I remember people always used to say, you know, I look like Bobby Brown and stuff. You know, I used to wear my hair a certain way, you know. And, I, you know, I just never thought of it like that. I'm my own person. But this is the tripped out part. Now, you got to remember when I um knew I was going through something, you know, as far as, you know, railroading me out of my AA meeting and trying to, you know, you know, bring me down or whatever. You could feel when the pressure is starting to come and stuff. And so I started giving away 
all my Jordans because everybody started, you know, everybody in my AA meeting in Rogers Park on Greenleaf and Clark used to always say, oh, those are nice shoes, you know, because they always looked at my shoes and stuff. I, you know, I took pride in my shoes or whatever and stuff. And they was the original, you know, Jordans and stuff for real, for real. And, you know, I was staying on um, Ridge up north and stuff. And I still had the ID to prove it. Um, and I gave some white guy and some uh, a teenager, you know, some of my Jordans and things of that nature or whatever or stuff. Now, I, this was before I got railroaded May 31st, 2008, for so-called disarmed police officer. Basically, they was just trying to get free stuff out of me and stuff. Look, when I die, we all going to die. Everything you got is a curse and stuff, since I can't have nothing that I work my butt off for and stuff. And this is the part that's tripping me out. Now, number 17 is the answer is 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 the um uh, is the quiz one of the quizzes and stuff now i want you to look at this number 17 it says a 2016 auction of whitney's personal items earned 525,000 now you got to remember my birthday is 525 may 25th and i gave up my um you know child abuse rap at the age of 17 in 1984, okay? It says, what piece fetched the highest price? Now, they're trying to say, you know, they're asking you when they had an auction in 2016. Now, you got to remember in 2016, I was fighting for my life. They would, they had held me down at the Cook County Jail in my city, Chicago, and put me on the psych ward uh, May 9th, 2016, and gave me, you know, drugs. For about six months, once a month, sometimes twice a month, and I come to find out it was cancer. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk, you know, because people hate you because you become better, or you smarter, and they thought you were slow or something, and then you end up being the best. And then when they realize, you know, they try to kill you because they don't want to feel embarrassed. But this is some embarrassing shit right here. Now, you think about this answer when I give it to you. Now, it says, A, her wedding dress. You know, she married Bobby Brown, right? B, Dolce and Cabana fur coat. C. Air Jordan sneakers. D. Her passport. Now, I'm the type of person got common sense. And I know my story when I see it. Now, I said Air Jordan sneakers without even looking at the answer. Because the 2016 and the 17. So I figured, you know, process of elimination or whatever. Now, People know, and I told them in 1995, I already know I'm worth more dead than I am alive. So they literally tried to kill me in 2016, and I still have, you know, a lot of the effects that's going on or whatever and stuff, you know. Real talk from the cancer that they gave me. Now, the answer is C, Air Jordan sneakers. Now, here go the answer right here. Now, you know, damn where... Whitney Houston wasn't wearing no Air Jordan sneakers. You understand? If she was, that's not what she would be known for. That would be me. You know, because, you know, Nike is me, quiet as kept. Jordan just so happened to be the face that took over my, you know, what's mine. See, that's all it is, is an invasion or whatever. And everybody jumped on the bandwagon and people who I looked up and admired the most. Yeah. But look. Number 17 is C. You see it. You understand what I'm saying? So, in AA, I had gave them all my sneakers pretty much and put them on the table, right? You understand what I'm saying? Nobody gave me a thank you or nothing. You understand? I gave them my book, Ryan's Poems and Metaphors Plus One Song. I never got it back. Now, I gave it to them thinking, you know, somebody will look out for me. Now, if they were $525,000 and I invested by walking around, you know, advertising for Jordan. Like I said, I got my first um, pair of Jordans off the streets for $50. You know, somebody sold them to me brand new. And he was just getting started like in 1984, right when Oprah and everybody was coming up. So they knew to get in on the ground Level like these mugs is in my city and trap building where I'm at 6210 South Kent Market Avenue, Chicago, North 60637, apartment 308. I come in the dough 
somebody peep their head out. That's never happened before. I've been here over four years. So, you know, they, they waiting to see what they can get for free. Ain't nothing free. If I give you anything, for real, for real. Now, the guys in the hallway, I didn't kind of mind, you know, at uh, at the uh, apartment ridge or whatever and stuff. I didn't mind, you know, giving them, you understand what I'm saying? But the people that knew me for real, for real, in my AA meeting, you know, on Greenleaf and Clark, I wanted them to do the right thing because I figured they knew me the, the most and stuff. Now, the guys, I was just probably just being, you know, nice. But I remember, you know, when I got railroaded and they took me to um, prison or whatever in 2008, I had some Jordans on, real talk, and it had a, like a little white Nike strip on it. And they never did give me those back. They never gave me those. And those was the most comfortable ones I had. You understand? Real talk. Now, they usually let you keep your shoes for real, for real. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, when you go to prison or whatever and stuff, they all black. But it had a little white sh stripe on it. Uh, 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 not a stripe, but a uh, Nike sign. And they actually stole them. Now, you know, so if they if they still in your stuff, which they that's what they do. My coat in 2016, they didn't give me my coat. They stole my uh social security. You know, I might have to end up killing somebody. I'm telling people right now because you know I'm going through too much and I didn't already prayed about it. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I'm not joking. Because all they had to do was stand up and everybody could have been a billionaire. It was no need to steal my stuff. I wanted my stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I didn't want to give my stuff away after I worked my ass off. You know, I figured all I wanted was a nice apartment. You understand what I'm saying? And chill, have a best friend. Now, this is the real ID. You understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. And this is where I was staying. It's, it's me. 7333 North Ridge, apartment 508. Now, somebody chilling probably, and you see my birthday, 525. You know, this the, this the real ID. Then when I came out, they uh, switches to this old cheesy-ass shit. But this me. This the real one right here. But even then, with that smile on my face, I wasn't even thinking because I had renewed this license. And, you know... It was supposed to uh, go past 2009, but it didn't. It didn't go past 2009. You understand what I'm saying? It was supposed to, I think I, I renewed it in 2008. I, had, I remember I had to take the test over again, you know, not the driving, just the, um, the written test. And I got 100 on it. I remember that. And it should have went from um, 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12. It should have went to 2012, but they cheated. They cheated. And I didn't realize until uh, later on because they didn't want me to come out, get in the car, you know, whatever the case was. You know what I'm saying? They railroaded me and it was, you know, it is what it is or whatever and stuff. But I'm just letting you know, this is how they cheat. But yeah, that's my, that's my birthday right there. This camera don't want to zoom in because they playing because they know, you know, I'm on top of them and I got my little glasses on so I know. And I ain't need no glasses, you know, as you can see. You understand? So... You know, after 2008, you know, my diet been bad or whatever and stuff. But if I knew it was going to be all that drastic, what I'm going through, I wouldn't have had that big ass smile on my face. I kept it real. Everybody else shitted on me. Who do you know give away Jordan? Jordan, Jordan ain't never gave me shit. For real. Real motherfucking talk. And Whitney Houston don't wear no goddamn motherfucking Jordans. And if she did, they wouldn't have been a hurt main thing to get the most money and it definitely wouldn't have my birthday 525. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So that's why I'm your ghetto news porter and originator of rap music because I ain't stupid. So for the ones who shitted on me and said it was raining and think it's cute and sweet, it's not. Because I will cut your fucking throat if I have to and shit. Real fucking talk. Ain't no more free looks. Licks or nothing like that. So looking at me trying to get something, prepare to die. Because I'm not giving you shit. Nothing. I don't give a fuck if I'm surrounded by an army. You're going to have to kill me and prove to me that my higher power don't love me. Now, do you feel lucky? Peace.